It looked like Skip Bayless is finally clapping black, clapping back <laughs> at Charles Barkley. Now, I posted two videos yesterday about Charles Barkley pretty much going off on uh, Skip Bayless. And not only yesterday, I think I, I think I got probably like six, seven videos on my page. Y'all can go and look on my channel that pretty much Charles Barkley has admitted that he don't like Skip Bayless. He don't like Skip Bayless for a multiple of reasons. He feel like he personally attacks players. And you know, he, he just don't like Skip Bayless. And as I said yesterday, I posted two videos of um, Shaq pretty much just, I mean, not Shaq, Charles Barkley. Uh, yesterday, I posted two videos of Charles Barkley just going in on, on Skip Bayless. Now it look like Skip Bayless is clapping back at Charles Barkley. He got something to say about Charles Barkley. Let's see what he got to say. Let's get it. Charles Barkley was at it again recently, taking more shots at me, this time on a podcast. Charles has been taking shots at me for, I don't know, 20 odd years, various platforms, including his own on TNT's Inside the NBA. Charles Barkley suggests that my criticism of LeBron is quote unquote personal, that mm. nobody could say anything bad about LeBron James. Nah, he didn't say that. He didn't say that any, nobody can't say anything bad about him. He said that it, it takes, it seems like you're taking personal shots. Stop, stop, stop adding on BS. Stop lying, Skip. Stop lying, bro. He did not say nobody can say anything negative about LeBron James. He ain't say that. Without it being personal, because Charles indicated there's really nothing that bad to say about LeBron James. So I thought, well, wait a second. To me, over the years, Charles Barkley has been a consistently harsh critic of LeBron James. Remember once he said that LeBron will never ascend into the all-time top five. Obviously, Jordan, Oscar, Bill Russell, Kareem, Will, ne never ascend into that echelon. Boy, Skip look old. Sheesh. Boy, you getting up there, Skip. And Charles has routinely, over the years, condemned LeBron's the decision move. Obviously, leave Cleveland, join four. That's not personal shots. That's all about basketball. That ain't personal shots. Versus with Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh in Miami with Pat Riley. He's always condemned that as a punk move. Uh -huh. I actually applauded that move by LeBron James. <laughs> now back to Charles's contention that I misuse my TV power by making my criticism of LeBron personal. First and foremost, I'm on a debate show. I'm going up against a debate partner who believes LeBron James is the GOAT, the greatest of all time, that he is better than Michael Jeffrey Jordan. I covered Michael. I got to know Michael. Trust me, LeBron James isn't even in Michael's universe when it comes to GOATness and greatness now, in his universe. Now, I, now that I agree with. That I agree with. Defend Michael Jordan with all my heart and soul when it comes to GOATness. But trust me, from my heart, I have absolutely zero personal against LeBron James. In fact, I've often said he's a very nice guy to a fault. He's actually too nice a guy to compete with Michael to be GOAT. Because in the end, Michael Jordan was as cold-blooded a basketball assassin as there ever was. Michael Jordan, not really a nice guy. He can be on occasion, but at heart, not, not the nicest guy. That's what propelled him to going 6-0 in the finals with six MVPs. That's what propelled him to winning 10 scoring titles to LeBron's one. That's what propelled Michael Jordan to winning a defensive player of the year that obviously LeBron never won, propelled him to winning three steals titles, propelled him to making first team all defense nine times to LeBron's five. Michael Jordan, not a nice guy. Cold-blooded basketball assassin, killer clutchness. Just absolutely rip your throat out clutchness. Of all the players I've ever covered, closely observed, life on the line. If my life's on the line, I want Michael taking the last shot. The last okay. person I would want would be LeBron. Too nice of a guy. Uh, and I and I and that I actually agree with. You know what I mean? Uh, Michael Jordan is definitely not the nicest guy in the world. <laughs> okay. Uh, honestly, Michael Jordan. Um, Michael Jordan is a little. He's a little dickhead. Very rude. <laughs> So that I will agree with. 
on uh, what what uh, Skip Bayless has to say about Michael Jordan. And now, now that I agree with, but that is what makes Michael Jordan so great because he was so ruthless. So that I do agree with. But I've often said, I've often tweeted from the very start, LeBron is, always was, the day he stepped on the floor in Sacramento at age 18, the best passer in basketball. Was then, still is now. How many times have I said on live national TV, LeBron James is the greatest driver of the basketball ever, and it's not even close, still can play bully ball better than anybody in this league. But when I tweet these things, when I tweet anything positive, it just explodes. I don't read my ads, my mentions, whatever, my responses. And I know what's going on. People are saying, you, you, you can't say that. You can only hate on LeBron. You're ruining the fun. You're supposed to be the villain who hates LeBron James. Well, I, I don't hate him personally. I got some issues with his game, which I stress on television and always back up with facts. But I don't play a character on TV. I just speak and write what I see as the very honest truth. I back it up with facts. I, I don't hate LeBron. I, I just try to tell you exactly what he is and what he is not. I'm, in, in the end, I'm just, I'm not afraid to say what I believe others won't say, can't say, maybe because they don't want LeBron to cut them off from interview access, or maybe because he's such a, a huge ratings draw for their network. But I, I don't care about protecting access or game ratings. I'm just going to give it to you as straight as I can with no strings attached. I hope you enjoyed that video. All right, so how do y'all feel about Skip Bayless right there? Man, if you, that was so weak. I ain't gonna lie, man, Skip Bayless. That was so weak. You was you was playing victim to me. That sound like you playing victim. You 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 being oh well. I'm just doing this and I'm just doing that. And you got your little paper and you reading reading off of a script. So obviously I don't, I don't know if you wrote this or somebody wrote it for you, but. Eh, Miss me with this plan, playing the victim, acting like you're just doing your job. Nah, you ain't doing your job, man. Uh, I definitely agree with um, Charles Barkley. You know, people like Skip Bayless, people like Stephen A. Smith, they take things personal. And even Stephen A. Smith admitted that he has a personal issue with Kyrie Irving, and that's why he been doing what he been doing. And, and it definitely feels like Skip Bayless has something personal too. And now he's playing victim and act like, well, I'm just, I'm just doing my job. Man, shut up. Ain't nobody falling for that. So uh, <laughs> y'all leave a comment down below and y'all let me know how y'all feel about Skip Bayless responding to uh, Charles Barkley. You know, pretty much just expressing how much he dislike him and in my opinion he was definitely playing victim right now but <laughs> trying to trying to talk in a soft tone uh, well, I, I just I, I just don't understand I, I I just don't know what's going on I'm I'm just doing my job man shut up <laughs> y'all leave a comment down below y'all let me know what you feel about skip Bayless crying on TV playing victim when Charles Barkley is calling him out. <laughs> it's your boy DMD signing out. Peace.